Hey everybody, the Reese here, and welcome back to The Raven Legacy of a Master Thief. Now I loaded up this game, and I don't know where Adil has gone. He's like, disappeared. He isn't in the bed, he isn't asleep, he's roaming the halls. I don't I honestly know where the hell he is. And if I sound a bit rough, it's because I've been ill for like... We booked this cabin it's not even it's ill. centrally located. Easy to duck in whenever we need to. Of course, the fact that it's a first-class cabin with a huge bathroom and shower had nothing to do with it. But yeah, I'm not even ill. I've just got, I just had a sore throat and that affected my voice. It's still affecting my voice and I may have to mute every now and again just to clear my throat or something. But I guess we'll see. Fingers crossed I don't need to do it all that much because it's a pain in the ass and not being able to record for a long time is a pain in the ass. But never mind. But that's why I'm recording this game, because I don't usually, like looking at my audio files for this game, I don't commentate all that much, because there's a lot of dialogue the characters say. Anyway, let's go. As soon as I've swapped the jewels, I'll treat myself to a hot shower, and then we'll see how the evening progresses. Ooh. As soon as- Oh. Okay. But I can't, I can't like interact with a deal though. Then again, all he was doing was sleeping, so who cares. Normally I don't carry so many things around, but it would have been suspicious if I'd come aboard with nothing but a rucksack whilst pretending to be the daughter of a wealthy family. That's true. They can't- oh, she can't be from a very wealthy family then. <clears throat> In that case. I got this necklace from my father. It's supposed to remind me that money isn't the most important thing in life. If all you've got is this penny, as well as family and friends, then you're a very rich girl. He said. It's true. I'll take it with me. It'll bring me luck. Like, money's a good thing, sure. But it's not the most important thing I in life. I try to carry as few personal items as possible. If my things are ever searched, they won't reveal my true identity. Hat box. I don't like wearing hats, but they do fit the role. And I have to admit that the day in London when we shopped for Patricia Mayers was a lot of fun. That's good. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Look at a deal. He isn't there. It happened pretty fast between us. It was magic when we first met. Well, I can still look at him Birds then. Birds of a feather flock together. And he can be very charming. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so he isn't actually there, but he's there? Daddy wasn't at all amused when I brought him home, mind. But I don't think he'd have been satisfied with anyone. Oh, he's doing this. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. Whoo, that scared me. Alright, I've examined the bathroom. What else is there to look at? Anything? There's a mirror. Okay, then. I am Patricia... Mayers. Young, attractive, clueless. I am Patricia Mayers. Oh, getting into character. Isn't there something else I should search? I'm sure this suitcase. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> I can't even fucking, like, move around. Okay. Maybe. No. I'm just going to use this. It's only highlighting the bathroom. And... Oh, wait. What? Why is that in my inventory? Uh, I am so confused. I this from if all you've got is this oh, right, never mind. I thought, right, so the thing on the table is the suitcase. Yeah, that's not a suitcase, it's a box. I hope it didn't label it as a suitcase, because that is not a suitcase. It's a box. Oh god, that really, like, screwed me up. I thought it was the suitcase that was on the floor. Never mind, we got it, we got it, we got it. Jesus. Right, now... We're going... To the upper deck, I believe. Um, side deck. 
Boop -a boop. Right. Yeah, we go to the upper deck and there's a fan that's in like a case. Oh, it's um, it's I, I believe the fan's actually broken, and we just need a way of like getting rid of the thing that's between the fan and the outside, basically. I believe, anyway. I'm also very curious whether or not I'll finish this game today or not. Like, in this session. I mean, I could. But at the same time, it I guess it all depends on how my, my throat feels. At the moment, it feels fine. Every now and again, I'll have to probably clear my throat. Or whatever, but that's okay. It doesn't mean I'm completely unable to talk. Which is a good thing, I suppose. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> she does move really slowly. Use the pole. Wait, we've examined it. Can I use this? Uncover the co- yeah. Uncover the cover. Unscrew the cover. With the penny. The penny fits perfectly into the screw slot, but my fingers aren't strong enough to turn the screw. Uh... Would... Oh, we have a penny on its own. Okay. Combine the penny with the ta- yeah, the tongs. That's it. I can jam the penny <coughs> in and make an improvised screwdriver. Yeah, there you go. Well, there you go. Wait, it only had two screws. Oh! That's it. I just hope that this is the right shaft. That's clever. I think I used the pole to hold it open. No? Oh. I thought I did. Oh, never mind. The pole alone won't help me in there. No. I still haven't found a way to get back into the ventilation shaft from the cabin. I need a, something like a rope and a way to tie it to the shaft. Oh. Tie the bath towel around the wooden pole. There you go. Hmm. <clears throat> I could tie the bath towel around the pole, put the pole across the ventilation shaft. Shaft. And climb down with the help of the towel. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, and then somebody will come upstairs. Oh! I've just realised why a deal was on the f the second floor anyway. Here goes nothing. Yeah, Patricia was in the Baroness's cabin. Ah, oh, it all makes sense. So a deal was there to prevent anybody from finding Patricia, I suppose. Maybe? I don't actually know if that is the case. Hmm. Oh. Ah, Jakob Aust. Who? I finally got you. I'll have them arrest you and justice will be done. Okay. Can I be of assistance, madam? Yes! You can get out of the way. Shall I tidy up, madam? No! It's time to celebrate. Ah. Excellent. The coast is clear. Because, of course, that wouldn't be obvious. Just the noise. Examine the mannequin. Open the part of cupboard. Impressive for a quick drink on the go. What the fuck? What happened? Is it giving us? A, is it giving us like a more in-depth look at this portable cupboard? Really? Why is this necessary? Oh, it actually is. Wow. Whoa. Mm, more 
your bottles. Might be the good stuff. Gin, whiskey, liqueur, sherry, vodka, brandy, and champagne. Every bottle is at least half empty. Bloody hell. I wonder what the Baroness is running away from. Loneliness? Disappointment? Grief? I'd, do, I'd go with grief. A suitable glass for every occasion. But most of them look more or less unused. The Baroness mm. probably disregards style and etiquette when she's drinking alone and just uses the same glass. Why wouldn't you? No, seriously, like, why wouldn't you? What the fuck? Oh, oh, it's the right stick to switch between stuff. What's that? A small leather strap. Aha. Wah. Hmm. Nepatiti, Guernica, A.D., Buonarotti's Adam. This could be a memory aid for the Baroness. And it would explain how Inch discovered the combination. I'm going to copy the hints. Hmm. As I see it, I have to decipher these clues to find three of the symbols. Then I can guess the fourth. Well, Nefertiti was an Egyptian queen. The monogram and the two other clues aren't much help. Hmm. Right. Examine the mechanism. To me, it looks like a combination lock. A good one, too. The hmm. door only opens when the right symbols are in place. Right. Examine the door. <clears throat> I put money on the eye of the Sphinx being behind this door. I don't think anyone would bet against me. No. Right, finish investigating that. Search the drawers. Some napkins and towels. Nothing I can use. What about the other drawer? Corkscrew, bottle opener, coaster. I can't use any of these. Hmm. Shoot. Okay. Finish investigation. Doodly do. Well, I guess I found the thing, so I don't really need to examine anything else. No, we had Zelna uh, interact with it enough, I'd say. Like everything in this room. I prefer to lock the door. Someone could come in and catch me at any moment. But it's important not to leave a trace. Inch absolutely cannot find out about us. I must hurry. No. Oh. I'd better leave the cabin as I entered it. Somebody might see me if I go out through the door. I got lost. <laughs> Just use a bullshit excuse. Am I able to leave? I want to leave. She's just spinning. Whatever. The Baroness wrote something down and took the slip of paper with her. Oh, it's probably not important. Yeah, probably not. It seems like she was searching for a specific photo and that she actually found it. Mm. Jacob Oust. Now I've got you, she said. We got our hands on the list of passengers, but I don't recognize the name. No idea. Hundreds of black and white photos, <coughs> many of them tinted. From the 20s and 30s, Ooh. I guess. Hmm. Oh, I don't have time to deal with them. We don't need to deal with them, which but is I the beauty of it. Probably wear my clothes. It'd disappear under the Baroness's clothes, though. Uh. As a child. I often stood in front of shop windows and tried to stand as still as the mannequins. But when I got bored, I claimed that one of the mannequins had blinked and declared myself the winner. Wow. What a life. Search the cupboard. Maybe I do have to I'm search sure everything. The eyes in the Baroness's search the handbag.